of the awakening. My name is Caleb Bill. Today I'll be talking to you about having the mind of Christ. In Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 the Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Now if you read down Paul was talking about the mind of humility, the mind of despising the shame, the mind of going ahead to work for God irrespective of the circumstances, the mind that could sacrifice. Now, but when Paul refers to the mind of Christ, he's not only talking about that mind of humility, he's also talking about the mind of a victor. The kind of mind Jesus had when he was on earth. He did not only humble himself, he also gave up his life. He didn't only do that. He said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He faced the challenges that came to him head on. He, was, he didn't only do that as well. The Bible said he declared if he eat any deadly thing, it will not hurt him. He went about healing the sick, raising the dead. Irrespective of the challenges, he never gave up. He had the kind of mind that can face the storm and say, peace be still. Now, in this time, you need that kind of a mind, the kind of mind that will stand fame irrespective of the lockdown, irrespective of the pandemic. The kind of mind that will encourage others and will speak faith and not fear. The kind of mind that will say no to fear, no to depression, the kind of mind that will never give up. That kind of mind you should have. That's the kind of mind Jesus had, the kind of mind that went to the grave and said Lazarus comfort. He wasn't scared of anything, the kind of mind that said I and my father are one. The kind of mind that said if you have seen me, you have seen the father also. Let that same mind be in you. The kind of mind that will give out himself for the poor, that is ready to give up what he has for those that, that, don't, that don't have. The kind of mind that thinks like a victor. You need to think like Christ talks. You need to talk like Christ talks. In this time, you need to model Christ. Follow after his steps. Have this kind of mind. Minister to those who need your ministry. Pray for those who need prayers. And don't be, don't be scared. Spread faith and not fear. That is the kind of mind you need. You need to awake from your slumber and be to speak words of faith. Irrespective of the coming reception, the Bible declared that there is a lifting up for me. Irrespective of whatsoever is happening, I am not afraid. I cannot be let down. Why God is with me? He that is with me is greater than he that is in the world. The greater one lives in me. That is the kind of mind you have. So in this day, you need to be a voice, a voice that speaks the truth in your neighborhood, a voice that speaks peace, a voice that consoles, not one that condemns, not one that brings fear, not one that brings condemnation, not one that speaks like the world is over, everything is done, no, because you are still here, you are the light of the world, so you need to spread light, you need to spread peace, you are the light. We are looking up to you. Men are looking up to you, to your rising. It is time for you to arise. Now you must note this, that you can't shine when there is so much light. You only shine in darkness. There is darkness now, gross darkness over the world, darkness of fear, darkness of sickness, darkness of uncertainty. You are the light that need to shine and will let people know that indeed God is by our side. Indeed we are greater and we will overcome. You are the light of an overcomer and you need to shine this day. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Go forth, arise and shine and kings will come to your shining. I believe you are going to shine from today. Thank you so much and God bless you.